Today is Friday the 2nd of December and at the moment, well, do you know my cat called George? Well, he brought in a mouse. <coughs> the mouse is in here. The mouse is there, as you can see. The mouse is still alive. It was essentially trapped under the carpet and I thought it was dead. So I was like getting ready to, well, just dispose of it because I thought it was dead. And then when I picked it up, its head started moving, so I thought, hang on, it's not dead. Uh, it might be approaching death, but I'm going to try my best to help it as best as I can. Now, I don't have any veterinary training. Uh, I don't know how to look after mice, basically. But as you can see in there, the mouse is currently asleep at the moment, I believe. Uh, and by asleep, I don't mean asleep as in dead, I mean asleep as genuinely asleep. Subconscious, whatever you want to phrase it as. So there's a mouse, as you saw, as you can see. As you just saw, it started moving about. There's proof that it's not dead. In case you wonder what all the tissue's for, there is actually some aluminium foil in here as well, and that's because when I found it, it was quite cold, so I uh, warmed it up. Put it in this ceramic bowl, which is the... This bowl now actually has a purpose of the bowl that I put animals in uh, to, like, catch them and then put them back outside, or to catch them and, like, help them recover when George brings them in. <coughs> and as it's ceramic, it does conduct heat, and I've put it on the radiator well, half on the radiator, half on my desk, near enough. Uh, but the heat from the radiator is actually conducting through it, and it's not its not like a hot burning temperature, it's more of like a, a more soothing, almost like an incubation type thing. And as there is tissues and some aluminium foil in there as well, that will also be shielding the mouse from the heat of the ceramic around it. I mean, it's not hot. I can touch it. It's not a problem. But yeah, there's a mouse. You okay? There's a mouse. Now, as much as I want to keep you, I can't because I don't have any training or anything regarding how to look after you. So what I'm hoping you're going to do is come around enough for me to go and put you outside with the other mice where I know there's like a mice nest, whatever you want to call it. But what I was wondering is if I go and put this mouse in the nest with other mice where I know there's currently mice, will they accept this mouse or will they just like abandon it? Because as you can see, he has moved, or she, as you can see by their breathing, they are still alive, which is good. Uh, their back legs, I... I think the back legs work, but I've noticed quite a few mice that George brings in, or shrews for that matter. Uh, the back legs go like that. I don't know if that's because they're broken or injured uh, or not, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping to put this mouse back outside later, so let's hope it's able to walk. And that's what I really need to do. I need to get a train, just put the mouse on the train, see if it walks, because if it doesn't walk, then it could mean it's injured. Okay, so here is my little test environment. I've put it, it's like a little tray thing, just a tray. Uh, I've put a paper towel in here, so when I put the mouse in or on, it's hopefully got something to grip on. And the, the uh, rim of this, the rim of this lid, I'm actually going to fill with water in case it's thirsty. So, little mouse, are you okay to just... It's okay. Uh, why is your back leg not moving? Oh yeah, there's the aluminium foil. I don't know if you can see it in there or not. Come on. Come on, there's a water source over here. If you want to come and... Have a drink? You want a drink? Okay, so <clears throat> if you want a drink, there's a water source here. I mean, should I get a Q-tip and wet it? I'll do that. This is a brand new, clean, unused Q-tip. Uh, because I just got it from the thing. You want some water? No? Oh, sorry. Yeah, there's water in here if you want some water. 
Want some water? Hey. No? Oh. You okay? You look like you're going to fall asleep. Oh. I know. I know. Yes. Hello. Oh, no. There you go. If you go on top of it, I prefer that because there's aluminium foil in the middle of it because I was trying to keep you warm. If you know what I mean. So, yeah, there's some water in there. There's a little mouse walking around. Probably wondering what he's doing. In a room that, if you ask me, is far too hot for me. But it should be just nice for the mouse. <coughs> uh, I kind of feel sorry for the mouse because I've been taking care of it. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want you, we don't want you jumping out. No, 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 no. No, come on. Come on. Let me, uh... Hang on. Come on, little mouse. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. You know me. Well, you should do. I've been taking care of you for the past two hours. Um, uh, yeah, I kind of feel sorry for the mouse. In a way, I mean, I'm proud of that I've, like, helped it, but I kind of feel sorry for it because I've been taking care of it and, like, keeping it nice and warm and just making sure it's uh, away from dangers, and then I need to go and put it back outside. But like I say, if I put it with all the other mice, then it should be okay. <clears throat> Before you ask, yes, I will wash my hands after handling the mouse multiple times. Right, I'm now going to go and wash my hands uh, before I touch anything else. Okay, yeah, I know this position's really weird for recording, but I've gone and washed my hands and the mouse has been walking about, so I guess it's healthy enough to be put back outside. And like I said, I kind of feel sorry for it because I've been helping it and keeping it in a nice warm environment, making sure it's away from dangers, and now I need to go and put it back outside where it's exposed to all the elements and cats and foxes and whatever else runs about, so, uh, yeah, I'll go and put it outside. Okay, there's the camera exposure better set for low lightness. <coughs> oh, I've got a... All right, where's my phone? Where is my phone? Is it on charge? No, it's not on charge. Where is it? Is it in there? No, that's too light. It can't be in there. Or is it in there? No, it's not. I, I need to find my phone first. Hang on. Okay, I found my phone. So now I need to find a way to hold the camera and my phone. Okay, I found a way to hold my camera and the phone. So now what I need to do, I need to take the mouse and go and put it back outside. Because you're fit, running around, scratching, digging, or at least attempting to. So let's go and do that. It's raining. I didn't think about that, did I? It's raining. So that means I'll try and set this camera up. Okay, so what I've done, I've got this camera and I've put it on the tripod. I'm going to go out there, put the mouse down, I'm going to hopefully set this camera up so you can see me from, well, where you're currently sat because it's raining outside. And as this is like the best camera I have, I don't want to get it wet. So I'll be, I'll uh, open up the camera on my phone and record with that. Hi, on, change of plans. It's not even raining anymore. It was. So yeah, that means I can take the camera out with me. So I'll hopefully get good footage. Pick up the mouse. And let's head outside. So I'll just put the mouse there for now. Do you see this? Like that, that, whatever this plant is here. I know that there's like mice or something below it. So yeah, hello mouse. Oops. Oops, sorry. That might be a bit bright for you. Uh, I, don't, I don't know where to put him or her. I might put him in some of this long grass here. Uh, come on. 
I don't want to hurt you. Look, you've known me for a few hours. You know I'm not going to hurt you. Right, so where do you want to go? Uh, let's put... I know, let's put them down here. Oh, it's all wet. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on, I can't look after you forever. Go on. No, uh... There you go. Go on, walk away. Walk away. Disappear. It's okay. I, I want you to know that, uh, well, yeah. Yeah, there's the mouse being put back outside after I've been taking care of it for a few hours and as I've got a bright light in my face I cannot see where I'm going at all. Right, there's a step there, there's a tripod there that I set up and no and uh, didn't actually use. So yeah, that was me putting the mouse back outside. So uh, yeah, I won't end the video here, I'll end it once I'm back upstairs and sorted out but uh, that's me putting the mouse back outside. So that has been it for this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, like it. If you haven't, then dislike it. And like, tell me why you've disliked it, because uh, the only way I can improve is if I get feedback, like honest feedback. Uh, anyway, that was it for this video. I found a mouse that I thought was crushed to death. Uh, turns out it wasn't, and I took care of it, and well, brought it back to uh, like a living standard, I guess. I don't know. No doubt I'm probably going to get some comments saying like, oh, why did you do that? And, oh, you don't treat mice this way. They don't drink water, they drink vodka. Someone's probably going to say something like that. So, uh, yeah, anyway, that was it for this video where I rescue a mouse, uh, bring it back to health, I guess, and then go and put it outside where it can roam free until the next cat gets it, unfortunately, probably. Uh, anyway, yep, yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next video slash vlog because I might upload this video onto both of my channels, both my main channel and my vlogging channel. So I'll either see you in the next video or the next vlog. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.